Back inside Dallas Floyd Phoenix Arena. Matt Payton here with the jovial head coach of the Campbellsville University Tigers now uh, in what appears to be a four-way tie for third place in the Mid-South Conference. A big win over Cumberland University. They're all big, but on the road, Coach, you got to pick up a few here and there, 73-65 the final, and your guys were really, really good today. Yeah, we were. But, yeah, we were. No, we were. But, man, we got so many things. We're so close. But, you know, close doesn't get you too far sometimes. We were lucky today. Um, I thought first half, man, we battled. I thought first half was just two teams uh, really going at each other. Offensively, we're better. And I, I thought whoever was better second half defensively would win, and you see our percentage stayed extremely high. Uh, we lowered our turnovers in the second half. We had eight at the half, and we were only with four in the second. Our assists went from seven to nine, and I thought that was huge. And then the one thing that, that could, man, it, it could have been a 15-point win. We got a rebound. We got a rebound. Uh, we did a great job the first half against Life on Thursday. Only gave up three offensive rebounds, and then we gave up nine in the second half. It, I told our guys they had four at the half. I said, if they get six or more, I don't know if we can win. And they got and they got eight. We were lucky. Uh, we put together enough stops. We had some guys really step up today, um, and it's fun to watch our, our guys. Uh, man, uh, I've given them a really not a hard time, as in uh, talking down to them, but I've given them a hard time of we, we've got a bad stigma about ourselves of hey, we can compete pretty hard on Thursday, but mentally we're not tough enough to do it on Saturday and um, really stepped up to the challenge today because uh, today we battled for 40 minutes. Really proud of our guys. DeAndre Singleton, one of those guys that stepped up today, Coach. 17 points, 8 of 9. You had the absence of Justin Tucker. Lenore Smincy gets into a, a bit of foul trouble, presses uh, Dre into some, some extended run here today. And You want to talk about doing something with the opportunity that's presented you. Uh, the big guy there out of Georgia, he, uh, he answered the belt today in a big way. Yeah, man, he, he was good. Uh, golly, uh, he's effective. I, I've always known he, he's been pretty good, but he's always, he's just not consistent enough. Um, and, and when I'm talking about that, I'm talking about practice. And we're one that we believe you've got to be more consistent in practice. And obviously missing a few games when we got back from the break because we got to where we started playing really well. Um, sort of set him behind the eight ball a little bit. He did, he came back from that whenever he was able to play and picked up well. And then sometimes your, your bench shortens a little bit and he got caught behind that. But, but he's really been working. I've seen him in the gym a lot more, putting in extra time. He's been better in practice and, you know, he knew whenever he came in Thursday and saw saw the boot on Tuck that you could see a different look in his eyes because now it wasn't will coach put me in. He he knew that coach had to put him in. Um, man, he took a he, he he sort of took us on his shoulders a little bit. Now some of that was you know our, our guards finding him in in different situations. But you talk about a guy finishing through contact and doing some good stuff. Man, he he was uh, he was the different second half. We haven't talked about this enough, and that's Ronald Taylor and what he's meant on the defensive end. I know you mentioned it against Life, but he was in foul trouble a little bit the first half at the city. He played 10 minutes. He played all 20 of the second half, according to the stat sheet. Jalen Duke scored four points in the second half. A big part of this win is, is what number four brought to the team today. No doubt about it. And, and, you know, it's funny. Me and him talked a little bit just through text message on the way home from Thomas Moore. And... Uh, Man, he's special. Uh, he, he, he's a leader without being too vocal. He's not real vocal at all, and we talked about that some. I wish he was a little bit more, but um, I don't think he'll, he'll bother me sharing this. But, you know, this is a senior that, that loves basketball. He wants to win. And sometimes it's hard to see some of that, but uh, on the way home, he texted me, and, and the only thing he said, he, he said, I get physically sick because I want to win so bad. I don't, I don't care how many I score, but I put so much pressure on myself to be the best I can be for my team. And, and he does. Every game, but prior to every game when I go in the locker room, he's sitting there laying on, on the locker room floor, basically meditating, trying to control his breathing because because he's physically ill. And, and you, you know, I don't know if all of our guys can, they see it, but I don't know if they know what it means. Um, I actually put that quote on the board today, or th this week, and I didn't even put a name under it. I just put anonymous, but, but it, it's Ronald Taylor, and, and he means a lot uh, to our program. And, you know, he probably won't win Defensive Player of the Year this year um, because it, it's, it's a wide range and we have so many good defenders. But, but you know, if you want to look at it, there is no doubt he's the best off-the-ball defender in our league. 
and, and, and I will I'll argue with anybody on that. Every game, he has the toughest matchup, and, and, and he never says a word. And he has to play 38, 40 minutes. And, you know, today, he was, it was killing him being in foul trouble deep down because we held on and still had the lead. I was, he needs rest. I mean, he just gets beat up. But I, and I'll say this, and I know Devontae Robinson didn't get in the second half, but whenever he came in in that half, I would have let him foul out because he was battling Jalen Duke so hard. And the eight minutes he gave us that first half guarding him, and that's a freshman going up against maybe the best player in our league. Um, he stepped up in a foul situation and did a great job. Very for, proud of him. To further that point on Ron, scoreless today, seven rebounds, five assists, held Jalen Duke, a coach mentioned, one of the best scores, if not maybe the best uh, score, the be maybe the best jump shooter. Even Jahi Henson, I'd love to watch them in a game of, of horse, those two guys, especially if you played it from inside the arc. But uh, steps up in a big way to Ron in that second half and, and locked him down to just uh, held him to just four points. Uh, coach Richie Mitchell, uh, go at T. Avion Mason and, and those guys today, they were really good. But Austin Davis had some big threes and some key spots. He had a big back tap at the end that I won't say sealed it, but it was going to be what looked to be an easy transition bucket. He had a big offensive rebound down here late. He did a few little things down Absolutely. the stretch that were critical. And, you know, some, so like I said, some guys that maybe don't always step up and you see it stepped up today. And I, I, I look at our four play today, the four men. AD made three threes. Sam, he's starting to make mm -hmm. some shots. Those two guys were very good. And they, they got us uh, combined, I think it was 17. 17 points. They didn't get many rebounds, but you know what? They limited their, their man from getting rebounds, and that's huge. And AD made winning plays. Uh, like you said, got the offensive rebound to extend a the possession. They had an absolute wide open layup to cut it to five with a back tap. Uh, before the offensive rebound, this is the little things. They've got Isaac Stevens sealed for a wide open layup, throw it over top, and AD comes from help side and gets a steal. Fabulous. I mean, absolute fabulous. And you talk about, you know, what we talked about it this week. We're a team that a lot of times when T.A.V. Mason goes, we go. That, that's part of it. Six minutes into the game, two fouls, and we go into in the second half or a halftime with a two-point lead, and that is so critical. The play of Jacob King and Richie Mitchell and a lot of guys really, really stepped up. Um, and everybody just, you know, they did what a team is supposed to do. They didn't try to do it by themselves. They did it as a group. And, and Richie was big in the first half, getting a lot of points and, and maintaining that. And then, again, like I said, everybody just played their role. And, uh, really proud of this group right now. Wild, uh, here you are. Uh, we got, what, five games left in this regular season? I think six, six games. Six, six games left uh, mm -hmm. in this regular season, and you're in a uh, four-way tie for third uh, based on, on the numbers at, at the moment and the, the outcome of, of the scores. Shawnee State lost to Thomas Moore, so they're five and five. Lindsey Wilson got a win. You got a win, five and five. It was a big weekend to keep yourself in a position Absolutely. to make that national tournament, and yeah. you guys did that. Well, you know, when we talk, uh, we're, we're trying to do the best we can to change the script a little bit. We're, we're working on trying to win the second half of the conference. So, you know, look at it as 2-0, and oh, but uh, jumping up now in a, in a tie for third, and one of the teams that we're tied with, we go play them next week. And, um, you know, obviously, first time around wasn't real good for on our part, and, and hopefully we'll have a better outcome. And then on Saturday, play obviously a team that – is way better than their record, a team that, you know, they're reeling a little bit, but you've got to be ready for it. Um, and, and it's two more on the road. So, you know, we'll play three in a row, but uh, we've got to take this momentum, continue to work, play hard, and, and you know, just see how, how the ball bounces. Great, uh, Coach, congratulations, Thanks, buddy. Man. I Fun appreciate one here you. today. We'll see you next week as the Tigers travel to Shawnee State, Portsmouth, Ohio, on Thursday, Saturday, down in Pikeville at Eastern Kentucky. A winner here this afternoon as they knock off Cumberland University 73 to 65.